Hey you guys, it's Shamira aka Mimi. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back. So let me just jump straight into this, you guys. I have a straight up message for you. So some of you have like a person around you who is testing you guys' intelligence or you guys' awareness, okay? Um, this person could be a fire sign because I was shuffling and these two cards kept falling out together. And it was strange, you know. It's like a uh, rare that two cards fall out after I shuffle it like twice. Okay. So it's the temperance in reverse and the eight of wands. Okay. And the eight of wands is about quick communication and stuff like that. Quick movement. Um, and also the temperance is, you know, the impatience and stuff like that. Uh, specifically in reverse. And it does represent a uh, Sagittarius. So this person could definitely be a fire sign. Okay. Um, this is a type of person who is a very impatient person. This person has a really, I would say, pessimistic type of energy towards them. Um, almost like a emperor in reverse. This person is a type of person who um, likes to have control over, over other people. Okay, so this person will not shy away from playing my games. But I'm seeing that this person is definitely trying to, I would say, uh, test you guys' intellect on what you guys know. All right. And I'm also seeing that this person could be the type of person who uh, secretly stalks you and watches you. OK, this person is the type of person who would probably uh, rush people when they're talking. OK, this person is a, a the person that you guys, if you have a conversation with this person or if you guys text this person or this person texts you, they expect you guys to text back quickly. And if you guys don't. Um, they will uh, call you afterwards and probably question you and ask you why. Okay, like why you didn't answer my call? Why you didn't, you know, uh, answer my text? Why you didn't respond to it? What took you so long? This is that type of person, okay? A really aggressive, a really aggressive type of person. Okay, I don't really like the vibes of this person. But um, this person is, is definitely trying to question you guys as, uh, like I said, intellect intellect and awareness of, of what you guys know and what you guys are realizing or noticing about them okay so this person is definitely the type of person who is toxic they got a toxic energy around them almost like a controlling type of energy um it's like their way or the highway um like i said this person is definitely the type of person who may rush other people to talk or to speak um, if someone has a speech impediment, some of you guys could be a type of person who you, if you talk quickly, um, if you stutter, if you have a speech impediment in some way, this person uh, lacks compassion or uh, any type of empathy for you. If you're speaking slowly or you guys stutter in some way, um, this person will definitely probably yell or get frustrated with you. Okay. And I'm also hearing if you guys have children with this person, if you guys have children around this person, um, treats children this way also. They're not really a kind or nice type of energy to be around. So they could kind of rush your children to speak. Uh, no matter what the age of the child is, this person is really not a, a nice person to be around. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a lot of impatience from this person. And if you guys got pets, okay, around you guys' house or something like that, around you guys' home, um, say if you guys' pets are really whiny, you just had a puppy or a kitten or something like that. You guys have a small little animal. Um, this person is not the type of person I will leave my pets and children around, okay? So um, this person is definitely, uh, I would say, uh, they're, they're trying you, okay? They're trying to exert some sort of dominance over you guys, okay? And if you guys are not careful, you could, uh, I would say, fall prey to this type of energy, I don't like giving out these type of readings and stuff like this because I hate picking up on stuff like that. But when I'm getting like cards that repeatedly fall out, um, yeah, it repeatedly falls out. And I did get the judgment in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this person is definitely a judgmental person. It's something about this person who is just not, it's nothing positive coming from this person's energy. And like I said, when I do get repeating cards that fall out, it, I would uh, take it as a message I should put out. Okay. So, like I said, this is not a type of person that you guys would like to have around you. And I'm also seeing that um, this person is not nice to people around them, specifically when they're in a pessimistic type of, uh, I would say, mood or mold. This person could also come off as being really moody. Okay, really moody. And just like I said, not a pleasant type of energy. This card wants to come out so bad in this card, too. Um, it's not really a good type of person. Uh, to be around okay this person could uh be some sort of uh 
leader, okay? Some sort of a uh, person who, you know, uh, Ace of Pentacles. And you guys also got the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, really, uh, I would say uh, unfriendly, okay? Unfamiliar type of energy. Um, This person is have a person they might even put uh, finances, okay? Material things other over people. Or uh, over people in general, over uh, living things, okay? This person, it, I would say, is highly attached to in, inanimate objects, okay? They definitely put a lot of feelings and stuff and, and energy behind, like clothing, a car, or, uh, you know, uh, shoes, their, uh, their appearance. This person is definitely focused on a lot of superficial things, okay? They lack emotions. They lack empathy and compassion, like I said, for other people, uh, specifically people who in some way need help okay i'm getting a, a right and patient type of energy with this temperance in reverse in the eight of wands okay it's like rushing people rushing someone uh to get to the point i mean if this person is in some way facing some sort of financial issue or their lifestyle or their life or their materials are being threatened in any type of way um this person like i said you guys will definitely notice the pessimism in this type of person okay so like i said this person is definitely uh around you right now if you guys notice this, this type of person around you is that person um this person is also the type of person like i said uh to maybe uh, stalk you okay if you guys have any type of platform social media platform this person is a person who um will probably stalk you guys in social media and if you say something or do something that this person doesn't like okay um, this person will not hesitate in telling you that they don't like you or they don't like what you guys are doing. So this person is also a type of person to ridicule you, okay? Maybe bully you, um, put you down. It's, it's not a lot of great things this person can say or do um, when they find themselves in a certain type of energy of not liking something, okay? Or being dissatisfied with something or someone. Um, they're very vocal about how they feel. Um, this person comes off as being a, a tyrant, okay? Like a, like I said, an emperor in reverse. Really not a great energy to be around or to have other people around. And also, you would understand who this person is based on how they treat people who will help, okay? Um, like people who, I would say, in uh, people who work in like uh, service type jobs, like uh, people at the gas station, people at stores, people at restaurants. This person is really nasty. Um, I don't think this person is a person who will uh, tip, okay? If this person isn't getting waited on or getting served on their timing, okay? It's something about them rushing if they feel like things are not done in their timing, in their timing, okay? Um, this person is really, uh, I would say, irrational of their expectations of what, what to expect from other people around them. Uh, if people don't meet their standards, they definitely could have high standards. If you don't meet their standards, you guys don't do things in their timing. Um, they will write you off as being beneath them or or uh, being someone who deserves the nastiness they bought to exact one to the world or they want to exact one to the world. So if you guys are like a waiter or waitress and uh, you guys ever see those people who are like absolutely nasty, they ask for water and they can see that you're the only server there and you have like two other tables. You go to the two other tables that have been there before them. They expect you to bring that shit back when they fucking want you like at that very second. And if you don't, they are the type of person who will leave a nasty review at a restaurant or uh, refuse to tip. You guys understand what I'm saying? This is definitely that type of person and I'm getting that. Um, this person could have a lot of money. They could be, like I said, uh, financially stable, um, but they're really uh, stingy. Really stingy and curmudgeon with their money, with their resources, okay, with anything that they have. So they may uh, test people, okay. This is the type, this is the type of person, and I'm stuttering my ass off. Oh my gosh! So you guys may definitely stutter in this person's presence because I'm definitely seeing this person invokes a lot of intimidation around the people they are uh, with, okay, or with the people they are around, okay. People they feel like is beneath them. Or don't have as much as they do. So this person does hold themselves at a high regard. I'm seeing this person could definitely be a boss. Or uh, be in some sort of leadership position where they are in charge of a lot of finances. Or they control a lot of finances or other people through finances. This person is definitely the type of person who will... Uh, oh my gosh. They will definitely treat people in a, in a very nasty and disgusting way. 
in order for that person or for anyone around them to receive anything from them, okay? With this uh, Six of Cups in reverse, this person is not a giving person, okay? They're not a, a, a empathetic person. They're not an understanding person or a compassionate person, okay? I'm getting a lot of selfishness and selfish vibes from this person, too. So if you have a person like this around you, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, that's the type of person you guys should stay away from. And like I said, I'm seeing like this person, the type of person, if you guys are doing something or saying something, this person does not like. Um, they're very vocal, very, very vocal and quick to tell you what they really think about you. Okay, so this person has, uh, they have zero self-awareness of how their behavior and how their words and their actions with other people affect other people. Okay, this person can care less. They can really care less with the temperance in reverse. They said what they said, and it's like uh, this person could also be the type of person who likes to talk over people in a conversation. They like to get their point across first and then disregard what anyone else has to say. It's like whatever they say goes, whatever they do goes, and that's that's the end of it, okay? And this person, like I said, they may also be in charge of a lot of finance or a lot of resources, a lot of people. So they feel like they can do things like this, okay? Because they have the power over people. And this person is definitely the type of, type of person who likes to use uh, financial, they might financially abuse uh, family. They might financially abuse the, uh, friends and stuff like that because they feel like they're in a position to do so, okay? So, um... They're the type of person who would uh, would test a person, okay? This is the type of person who will uh, test people to see if they're gold diggers and stuff. I don't know why I'm getting that, but this is the type of person who will definitely test a person to see if the person wants to use them for their money or their finances. This person is loaded. Uh, this person has more than what they uh, know what to do with. Um, but they come off as a person, like I said, they may even come off as being someone who doesn't have much to give. Um, they're not readily or or uh, available to give, okay? They make it seem like they really are lacking, but they aren't, okay? And this is definitely a tactic or a ploy to see how much they can get from you or from another person before they're actually willing to give, okay? This person is definitely the type of person who is an asshole. And I'm, I'm going to definitely say that personally, this person is an asshole, because I know some of you have definitely met people, ran into people, have, you know, engaged with people like this, okay? People who are like, you know, um, I'm going to say that I'm poor and I'm broke because I'm going to see how much I can get out this person before I, I'm, I'm able or before I'm willing to give to another person because I don't want to get used. They might be a gold digger. They might be this. They might be after what I have. This is definitely that type of person. And um, this type of energy, if you are met with people like this, this is no good. It's not really a great person to be around because this person, like I said, is no one who is uh, safe from this type of person, from their nasty ass behavior. And, and you guys, if you have a person like this in your life right now, please try to uh, limit your interaction with this person because, um, yeah, they're just going to drain you guys. And I'm seeing this person is not shy about spending up your resources, using your resources before, like I said, they're willing to give up theirs. And that wanted to come out so damn bad. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. They're really slow in giving to other people. And sometimes this person may put it off as, or put it like they are the type of person who want to take their time to get to know people. And that's why they behave the way they behave. They're definitely testing you guys to see if they can trust you. Okay, so um, I, I don't respect people who do that because I feel like if you really want to get to know someone, you really want to get to uh, build a strong bond with a person, why well, put people through certain tests and shit like that and, and play games where you play stupid ass games and put people through stupid ass tests, you get stupid ass prizes. Okay, like I, I don't understand that. Um, if you're constantly going out into the world feeling like everyone is going to be a gold digger, they're going to use you, um, you definitely shouldn't be putting yourself out there, period. You should just be by your damn self, okay? And this is definitely the type of person who may find themselves alone because they feel like they can't really trust too many people around them. Uh, they might find themselves uh, lonely or behaving this way because they may have been through a lot of situations where, you know, they could have, you know, met people who just wanted to use them for the resources who wanted to take from them. Or they, they were met with situations for people who just wanted to, uh, you know, um, 
put in a bare minimum to receive from them. So it could be the reason why this person is doing that. Um, this person could be so a person who could be uh could have been single or by themselves. They may travel by themselves, walk by themselves, be you know, be just be alone because they fully feel like they kind of lack trust in humanity. Okay. This is definitely the type of person who, like I said, they will definitely put in a lot of uh, love and energy and respect towards money and resources rather than actual living human uh beings or living things okay this is not the type of person you want like i said around your pets or with your children because they're very very impatient okay selfish self-centered and impatient okay and i feel like this person has a lot to learn um not only you know from out of life but they have a lot to learn from you um you guys could be the opposite of this person but I'm hearing that if you guys have ran into this person or met this person, um, the reason behind meeting this person is, is maybe to teach them a lesson, okay, about life and how to treat people and how to conduct themselves when interacting with other human beings. This person is the type of person who still holds on to hurt and anger of the past. Uh, whatever situation, like I said, this person has been through, whatever trauma this person has been through, has shaped this person's personality to be this way, okay? Um, it's like those people who have been bullied in school, okay, maybe not got picked uh, for the team or the person who went after relationships and never got chosen. This person could have been the person who was always the third party um, or the fifth wheel or something like that. Now, this person never really had what they feel like they deserved in life. So this person could be exacting their behavior, exacting their hurt and their pain, their trauma onto other people by behaving and showing up like this, okay? Okay. Um, and that's definitely no excuse. You, you guys have heard that scene of uh, hurt people hurt people. But this is a situation where this person is, I feel like they have been in life, in this life too long. They've been living life too long to still be behaving like this or still not um, seeing that something is wrong with the way they treat people. Okay. So this person, if they are coming off as being a really pessimistic type of energy is because they have been through a lot of trauma. They have been through a lot of things and it could have something to do with them going through life with people who just took from them. And um, I'm not taking up for this person or making excuses for this person, but um, that could definitely be the, the reason why this person is behaving this way or showing up this way in you guys' life. And I'm seeing that if you guys are met with this type of energy and you guys don't like it, it's not really meshing well with you, then uh, definitely just connect with this person because they have a lot to heal within themselves. That is not you guys' responsibility to help them heal. Uh, you guys should not have to uh, experience the brunt of what they have been through, okay? So this person, like I said, if you guys find a person like this in your life, um, let them know, stop putting you through tests and let them know that you guys can see their behavior and you guys are not liking their behavior. And if this person blows up at you or disconnects from you, then you guys uh, know that, you know, just leave it, leave it be. Um, yeah, you guys cannot fix people or change people. They have to want to change and they have to actually see that they have a, a problem or they have certain flaws about themselves that they need to change on their own, okay? If they're not willing to see that, they're in denial about it, um, then leave them where they are, okay? But definitely disengage from energies like this because I do want you guys to start um, being a little more aware of who you guys are inviting into your life and into your energy because this is not a healthy person to be around. And they're definitely, like I said, testing your guys' boundaries, testing you guys' awareness of what you guys can pick up from them or what you guys are noticing from them. So if you guys feel like um, this person may be lying about their situation, specifically their financial situation, um, put this person on blast, okay? Confront them with it, okay? Because this is definitely a type of person, like I said, they don't mind spending up you guys' resources or using up you guys' resources and money uh, to test you and see how much you guys are willing to give before they're willing to give, okay? They're definitely slow to move with people and to get to know people and to open up to people. So this person could definitely be putting you guys, um, yeah. <laughs> um, it was reversed. You guys got the nine of wands and the devil, okay? A really defensive-ass person, but they're, yeah, they could definitely be putting you guys through a test to see how much they can trust you guys before they open up to you, okay? Before they finally let their guard down. But um, this is the type of energy this person is in. So if you guys don't want to experience the downside of this person or the toxic side of this person, um, you either need to stay clear of them or you need to have an open conversation about what you guys are picking up, what you guys are noticing. Because if you guys are tapped in and in tune with yourself, 
um, and with other people's energy and their behavior and stuff like that. And you guys are noticing this person, like, like I said, putting up little tests and shit to see how much you guys know. Um, and I'm also hearing that this person may divulge certain things to you. Um, and then later on, they see if you guys will uh, divulge whatever they told you to other people. Um, this is how they base their trust on how much they're willing to tell you, how much they're willing to go in deep with you and let their guard down based on what they tell you. So if this person does tell you certain secrets and certain things, uh, you better believe that they're definitely watching you guys or definitely keeping an eye on you guys to make sure you guys aren't telling other people because they feel like they can't trust you with certain little secrets and stuff like that. Um, they're not going to tr ever trust you, okay? This person is always going to have their guard up. So, like I said, it's something really toxic about this person's energy that I feel like you guys, if you don't want to experience uh, the negative side of this person, stop engaging with them. Or uh, if you guys see this person, like I said, uh, put you through little tests and shit, because I'm also getting with the with the nine of wands, little tests. Okay. Little, little silly ass games and shit. You know what I'm saying? People are too old for that. This is something they have to face themselves that hurt and that pain of the past. They got to fix that rather than put you guys to test because what they're doing is definitely damaging to you also because they're not showing up as themselves. They're showing up with a mask, okay? With a really pessimistic mask or pretending to be someone that they're not pretending to maybe even go through certain things that they're not just to test you and see where you guys' loyalty lies with them, Okay? See how much you guys are willing to give. See how much they're willing to uh, receive. See how much they're going to receive out of you without giving anything back in return. Okay, this is definitely the type of person, like I said, they, they hold material things, finances, and stuff like that. Status, appearance over anyone and, and everything. Okay? So if you guys got something from this message, if you guys uh, can use this message to... Uh, I would say get yourself out of an uncomfortable situation with a person like this. Um, definitely do that, you guys. Okay, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And I will definitely see you guys next time for uh, Monday's Pick a Car or unless I say otherwise, okay? Because I'll be coming through with the random ass messages, okay? So thank you guys once again for watching and vibe with me. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.